Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So I've got my cold brew. Side note, this creamer that I just put in is like an oat milk one that's vanilla. And I don't drink creamer every single day, but every once in a while it's delicious. I mean, duh. But today I wanted to bring you along. I really desperately, desperately, desperately <laughs> need to clean out my vanity because it is where I get ready in the mornings typically. There are some things in there I am kind of tired of using and I've got plenty to switch it out with. So I figure I'll bring you guys along, kind of vlog style, a little more informal. I know I like these styles of videos. Can y'all hear my dishwasher running? I always say this and I mean it every time, but there is no better feeling than like a decently clean kitchen, like dishwasher running, a candle lit in the background, like is there a better feeling? The only thing that would make it better is if it were like cooler today and I could have the windows open and there'd be like a breeze running through. Oh, stop. I'm getting way too excited for fall. So let's go upstairs. I do need to get ready really quickly, actually. Guys, I know this lighting is awful, but we're only gonna be here for a minute and then we'll dive into actually organizing it, but I do need to get ready. So I figure I'd chat with you guys a little bit while I do, if that's okay with you. Are you getting ready right now? Is it like evening? Are you in the bath? Are you, that was a creepy question to ask. <laughs> Don't ask people if they're in the bath, Jessica. That's incredibly weird. I just feel like I haven't gotten to like chat with you guys in a while. I don't know why I've got this feeling. I guess I haven't done like a coffee chat in a hot minute. So this is like a pseudo coffee chat. I don't even know if I use that word right. Anyone else always, like if you put a serum or something on, I always end up wiping whatever's left on my hands, hoping that it helps with the like anti-aging of my hands. I guess only time will tell, huh? One thing I have been doing lately is having a little makeup bag here on my vanity that has like a lot of my favorites in it. And the reason is because <laughs> some of y'all I'm sure can relate. If I sit here to do my makeup and my two year old's around, all she wants to do is sit on my lap. She wants me to go play with her. She wants, but for some reason, if I'm standing and doing my makeup in the bathroom, she doesn't bother me. And so a lot of times I'll just kind of grab what I need in here and then walk in there. I actually, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting on so many tangents. I have some makeup I keep in a drawer in there but it's makeup that I'm not really wanting to use, so it's just been sitting in there. So that's part of what I need to do today is get that makeup out of there and put it back in my collection. And if I'm gonna get ready there more often, then instead of having it in a bag, I should just, I guess I should just redo the makeup that's in there. This project's becoming bigger and bigger by the minute. I also desperately need to wash my brushes, but I think that is gonna be a project for another day. But I feel like I always think of like washing my brushes as such a big affair, like a big to-do, so I put it off and put it off and put it off. Suddenly months have gone by and I'm like, I haven't cleaned my brushes in a long time, but at the same time, it's like, it does take me a while, but it doesn't, I guess my thing is, it takes a while, but it doesn't take as long as I always think it does. Does that make sense? Anyway. I'm just rambling you guys, somebody shut me up. Turn me off. But I have been getting back into using like a filling primer on my nose. I get away from it a lot. I don't know, I do feel like it's helping the makeup stay a little bit better on my nose. It kind of fills in the pores. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer that I love. <laughs> it's to die for. And then I'm actually gonna use the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. It's kind of a low key day here I'm having. Honestly, I'm doing my makeup just cause I feel better about myself when I have it on. <laughs> no, but I mean, I just feel like I'm like having a productive day if I have makeup on and I'm still planning on like hopefully working out later today. So I don't want to like go crazy heavy on makeup and then just like sweat it all off. But I have mentioned that I do think like a decent dupe for this is the CoverGirl Skin Milk. So if you're not sure if you'd like it, I would get the CoverGirl stuff. Um, but I do like the Tarte stuff. Like I have worn it a decent amount this summer because again, it's such a quick and easy light. It's still got some coverage, but just a lightweight, easy thing to throw on to even your skin out. And I do enjoy it, but I also enjoy the CoverGirl stuff. But if you kind of liked the CoverGirl stuff and you felt like, I know it can have like little white, beads, I don't know what it is that can kind of get on your face. I've noticed that too. And a lot of you guys have commented that you've had that problem with it. Then you might like the Tarte stuff because the Tarte stuff definitely does not have those little white beadlets, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna finish getting ready really quickly and then we will start reorganizing. So I just finished getting ready. I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about here in my bathroom. So this is kind of my top drawer here and I've got like washcloths and things like that but I've had this makeup in here. So I just feel like I need to take this stuff out, rework what's in here. So that's gonna be part of what we do today too. So here's what we're working with in my vanity drawers. Lots of favorites, they just need to be reorganized, maybe switched out with a few things. I'm working on quite a few videos 
videos that take some time, like I'm working on a dupes video and stuff. So some things I have in here, but now that I know they're dupes, I don't necessarily need to have all of them in here. So we're gonna clean this out first. I'm realizing as I put all this away, I have got to declutter. This is like, this made me sad because I've done such a good job of keeping my collection down, if you will, considering that I do a lot of beauty videos. But this has gotten out of hand. I've been super into blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Obviously, I mean, it's just too many. And I can barely like see what I have anymore. And it, it wasn't like this that long ago. So. I just need to declutter this. That video will be coming soon. I know I'm doing here in the next week or two a video sharing my favorite cheek products and that'll make it a little easier for me to let go of some because I also talk about some of my least favorite ones. So anyway, stay tuned for all that, subscribe, etc. But in the meantime, I'm not gonna stress about this today. This is another day's project, but I do need to pick out some things that I want to use. So now that everything's back where it goes, kind of. Gosh, this is insane. I now need to pick out what I actually want to use. I think what I'm gonna do is pick out like kind of two sets of things. A small group of things that I'm gonna have in my bathroom, and then of course the stuff that's gonna be in my vanity. Like I said, just trying to make my life easier and work smarter, not harder, baby. That's the key. So lip product wise, I don't wear a ton right now for obvious reasons. A, I'm at home wear more, and B, even when I go out, I'm wearing a mask like all of us are, I hope. So um, I do need a lip balm in both places, so I'm gonna pick out the Neutrogena one, and maybe, I wanted to use up this Bulgari one. I don't even know if you can like find it anywhere, but it's so good, I got it like on a cruise ship. I mean, it's hard to explain, it's a long story. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this Bobbi Brown one to have in my vanity, and then that's probably good, honestly. Eyeshadow palette wise, I wanna get more use out of my singles. I think I'm going to make a little six pan palette here out of these singles, but I also am still loving my XX Revolution little quad that's a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, so that is definitely gonna go as well. And then this is so nice. This Maybelline Single Shadow in Dusty Rose is so amazing for quick eyeshadow looks. That's what I did today. So that's definitely gonna also be in that room. And I think I'm gonna grab the Maybelline Quad in Sunlit Bronze. I really like this. So looking through my primers, like I said, I've been really into like pore filling ones. I've been using the Peter Thomas Roth one a lot. I might swap over to the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing because I really do love this stuff. I've also been enjoying the Luminous Putty Primer. I might bring that over. And I'm gonna bring this Can Make SPF because I don't want it to go bad and it's a really really good one. You can get it on Amazon. One of my favorite favorites is this Shiseido one, but I feel like I need to use up some other ones that are getting a little older. This Clay de Poe one is comically expensive. I bought it so long ago and right now it's just sitting in my drawer going bad. So I'm definitely going to bring this one over to try to use it up because I do think it's good. It's like a stick concealer but it's super, super creamy. I would never buy it again because the price is ridiculous for what it is, but it is a good concealer. I think I'm gonna bring over this Designer Brands one that was sent to me from Arna Elaine. I adore this, so that one's gonna go over. I haven't used it in a while. I, this Misha BB cream was just in my empties. There's like two uses left, so I'm definitely bringing that over, gonna use it up, and I already have another one. It's my favorite. And then I think, again, I wanna use this up before it goes bad, the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder for just like easy breezy days like today. The Chantecai Single Shadow I'm gonna bring over. Um, I'm trying to use some things I haven't used in a while. I haven't used this, my Marie Antoinette from Charlotte Tilbury in a minute. I've really been enjoying this MAC liner in Costa Riche. It's like a really pretty shade of brown. I actually am wearing it today, so I think I'm gonna bring that over again. My Cabral. Um, oh, and then this, I still haven't tried. I bought it, the Milk Kush Triple Brow Pen, so I definitely wanna bring that over and use it. So I'm gonna finish going through all of this and then I will show you everything in my drawers. All right, so we're in my bathroom. I figure I'm gonna show you what makeup I picked out to have in here first. I was trying to think back through the past few months and like how often I got ready in here versus at my vanity. 
and it definitely was more often at my vanity but I think I'd rather start getting ready in here faster for the reasons I said earlier I can get ready uninterrupted I ended up picking out a lot of favorites to have in here so I figure I'll just kind of talk you through it as I put it in here so I grabbed this Murad SPF 30 it's okay I wouldn't buy it again and then my MAC strobe cream I haven't used in a while and I love that the little bit that's left of my Misha BB cream I figure I can definitely use up here and then the Charlotte Tilbury light wonder for concealer in here I've got the collab concealer that I actually really 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 love you can get it at Sally Beauty I'm gonna go ahead and take out this milk triple thing and try this out soon I am planning on doing like a trying new makeup type video soon and so this might be in there honestly but there that is. I did grab my number seven powder I love for my under eyes for in here, and then the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation powder. So since I love creams and powders for like blush, bronzer, and highlight, I have the Fenty Cream and the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. Both of those are bronzers. And then I have two blushes, because again, I'm obsessed. The MAC Glow Play Blush is one of my, if not my absolute favorite formula. This is the one in Cheeky Devil, which is pretty new to me. It's a nice pink. And then my Benefit Dallas Powder Blush, I love. Highlighter-wise, I grabbed the Essence Pure Nude. And then for eyes, I am gonna do the single shadows here in a second. That's gonna go in here. And then my Maybelline Single Shadow, I love. This MAC Pigment and Tan. An Anastasia Brow Pencil, some liners. This one's the Maybelline, it's okay. The Physician's Formula Liquid Liners. I got a lot of easy one shadow looks. This e.l.f. one and then the Chantecai one I talked about earlier. And then I wanted to try out, I've never opened it, so another new product, this Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. I think it's supposed to be pretty like lengthening, so we're gonna see, I'm curious. It's got a wand like the Thrive Cosmetics one. And then I've got a MAC Gel Liner, the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip, and then my Lip Balm. This will make me enjoy getting ready in here better. I still have, until I clean my brushes, these are the brushes I have in here. I should have one of everything, so there we go. Not bad. All right, so I was going through all of my single shadows and I think I picked out the six I want to keep in here. So let me show you them. I went with colors I figured I would use um, a decent amount. So we have got cork and soft brown, naked lunch, retrospec, woodwinked, and then I think this is rice paper. Rice paper is one of my favorites and it looks similar. I think this is a little icier, but I don't know what it is because the little thing got ripped off. So I just swapped this one out. This I thought was woodwinked. This is actually Shrile from, um, I think, Carity. It didn't fit. So this is called Honey Lust from MAC. And so, yeah, I know those all look so similar, but that's like, those are the colors I wear. So this is Perfect. All right, so just a quick little tour of this drawer area. I've got my things I use every day, like my sponge and stuff. Luminous foundation from Designer Brands. I ended up grabbing the CoverGirl Skin Milk because it's just one of my favorites. And as I was talking about it earlier, I was like, I do want to get some more use out of that. And then the SPF and Charlotte Tilbury stuff I was talking about earlier, the Revlon Primer. I grabbed the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, one of my favorites as well. Liquid liner from Maybelline, I'm still using. My Benefit Cabrow in the shade 3.5. It's what I use in my brows pretty much every day. I grabbed the Stila Shimmer and Glow in Kitten, one that I really, really enjoy. And then the Cover FX Power Play Concealer is another favorite of mine. My L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara I've been using. The Maybelline Great Lash just for like a clear brow gel. Got the Charlotte Tilbury Marie Antoinette. My L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze in the shade As If, one of my favorite little like nice and shimmery shadow toppers and then my Maybelline gel liner. That's everything in this drawer. And then over here in the left drawer, I don't have any like organizers, but it's kind of nice that I could spread everything out and see what I have. So I've got two bronzers. I have been loving this L'Oreal True Match Lumi bronzer in the lightest shade. It's just become a favorite. The old version of the Chanel cream bronzer that I love. They've reformulated. Apparently it's not as good. So Anyway, love that. I've got this Laura Mercier highlighter, their matte radiance baked powder. It's a beautiful, more natural highlight. Got the Maybelline quad, my XX Revolution quad. This Bare Minerals blush in Coral Cloud. It's very similar to the MAC Glow Play blushes because it's kind of a cream to powder type. I have a MAC Mineralized blush in Warm Soul. I just felt like was getting lost in my collection. Laura Mercier powder, still a favorite from the drugstore. I almost always have this in here. This is the J-Cat Pearl Luminizer. It's under 10 bucks. This thing will last you a lifetime and it is the most beautiful natural highlight ever. CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, and then the Models Preferred Powder. All right, so that is everything. I feel good about what I have in all of those places. I think I've just needed to do this for a while. I was feeling very 
uninspired when it comes to makeup. Not that I do any crazy looks, but you know, sometimes getting ready can be way more fun when you're excited about the products you're using. And I just felt like I was kind of in a rut. Maybe that's the better way to put it. I was just kind of in a rut. So I'm excited about what we've gotten done today. I'm excited to have my little single shadows to put in my bathroom as well. I just feel like this is gonna be very useful to me. And honestly, this would make a great little travel palette for me as well. Not that I'm doing a ton of traveling. But if you did enjoy, I hope that you'll subscribe. I do upload three videos a week. I'd love to have you guys join our happy little corner of the internet. And I'd also love to say hey to you on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.